Well, hi folks, and welcome to another exciting episode of Art Tips with John. I am your host, John Morris, the painter of memories, and welcome to the show that teaches you not only how to build a successful art business, but also how to unleash your creative talent. Welcome to today's show. Okay, folks, in today's show, we are going to be looking at how to paint reflections, and this is an excerpt from our Introduction to Painting course available at outreachart.org. Hoping you enjoy the show. With that in mind and with that said, I'm not going to take up much more time. We're going to lay out some mountains and we're going to have some fun. And we're going to start working with a palette knife today. Okay? Now, the way that we're going to do this is very, very simple. Okay? Now, the way that we're going to do this is very, very simple. The palette knife is and can be a really frightening tool. I remember when I started, it was actually a really scary thing and difficult to work with. Okay? Now, for beginners, I would suggest working with the paintbrush. However, I do want you to be able to get used to working with the palette knife. Okay? Because it just opens up a whole other world for you to be able to work with. Okay? So this is the palette knife. Okay? You can get these from most art stores. eBay sells them. Uh, if you have any trouble at all obtaining one of these, please do let me know and I will be more than happy to, uh, to point you in the right direction and get that for you. And what we're going to do today, as I said, is laying out the mountains. Now, today we're going to work with black paint. Now, as always as well, we'll continue having the colours put across the bottom of the screen so you can see everything that you need to paint along with us. And we're going to come into some, to some black paint. Now, the way we're going to do it is just literally just carve across. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up for you so you can see. Okay. Basically, you take a little roll on the knife. Can you see that just on the top there? Just how well it comes out. There you go. Okay. Right, it's a little roll on the knife, and all you're doing is literally pushing down and scraping across. Okay? The whole thing doesn't need to be covered in paint. So, in act, all you've got is this tiny little roll on the top. Okay. Now, when you think about mountains as we're doing this, because this is really, really important. I know a lot of artists just come in and just you know, and make very basic shapes that look very, very basic. But mountains aren't like that. We know mountains aren't like that. When did you ever see a mountain that just looked like a triangle? Okay? So when you think about the mountain shape, and it helps, obviously, if you've got plenty of paint on the, the palette knife. If you do find yourself struggling, I'll show you the technique to do it with the brush. It's exactly the same technique, but I want you to try with the palette knife first. So what we're going to do, remember, uh, Imaginary X for perspective is here, okay, right in that position there. So the mountains are going to be above eye line. So we come in, use the corner of the palette knife and work our way across. Again, as always, if you find the paint is a little bit too dry, you can just wet it up a little bit. Okay, and we're just making little ridges, little movements, teeny tiny little movements, which create again the illusion of rocks, which is what we're wanting. Now each time I'm scraping across, because you don't really want a whole lot of excess paint left on. Okay, so just make some little mountains here. Now I'm applying quite a bit of pressure as you can hear, you can actually hear the canvas being scraped. Pull down and push across. Okay, and we're pulling, pull, 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 pull. And what this is going to be doing as well to think about, and what this is going to be doing as well for something to be thinking about, is it's, it's starting to create the different planes for the mountain. we we'll come in and have a, a big mountain here. Okay. And you can see how hard I'm pushing down. Now, a lot of people when they do it, they put all the pressure onto the knife. As you can see here, I've got my two fingers on the side and one finger on the back of the knife. Okay. 
and all I'm doing is just pushing down and pulling around. Okay, so remember the banana shape that we looked at in the perspective glass? Pull down and around. Okay, and we've taken off quite a lot of the excess. Now what I want you to do with your small brush, and if you remember this one, it's the half inch brush, just get it a little bit wet. Okay, I actually just want to do very, 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 very mildly damp. Okay, if it's too wet, the paint will just smear it all over the place. And what you're going to do, you're going to go from the top, the ridge. Now it's really important that you don't go over the ridge because you want to keep that shape. And we're going to start pulling on down. Okay, my brush is arguably a little bit too wet. If you find that it's too wet, just dry it off by banging it against the sides of the paint box or of the sink even, you can eliminate a lot of the water that's held within the bristles. And again, think about your shape and about your form of the mountain. You'll have to excuse me a little bit today, my, my voice seems to be a little bit dry and a little bit croaky. But I hope you're having tremendous fun learning how to paint and learning how to do these things. Okay. And from time to time as well, you will be joined um, with other students. When we're doing online classes, we may do live classes. Um, certainly in the physical classes, I'm aiming and hoping to be able to teach using a live audience. Okay. And as you can see here, I'm just laying out and all I'm doing is going backwards and forwards. Okay, we're not doing anything too technical just now. Okay, and it's just pulling it backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And all I'm using here is pure black. Okay, and always remember, we're we'll going around the sides. Painting. And to flip it. And out. Okay, and now we're just going across. As I say, when you just go up and you follow it all up, it will continue to give all the shape depth and distance that you need. Now as I said last time we're going to look at creating uh, reflections. Now the way to do this, there's, there's a couple of ways. The way that I prefer is to take painting and to flip it upside down. Okay. To flip it upside down. Lock it back in position. And it just makes your reflection so much easier to do. Okay, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Now, here's when it can get a little bit tricky, but I think you're ready for it. So, we take the brush. This time, I'm going to show you the technique that we did with the palette knife using the brush. Okay, it's exactly the same thing. Think about all these different ridges, and you want to try and mirror that which is above you. Okay, now it's okay if it's not 100% to start with. As we said, you know, these are reflections. As long as it's a rough, rough, rough guide, it'll be okay. And then we do the same thing. We, go f we begin from the top and pull down. And work our way around. Again, because it's a reflection, you don't need to worry too much about the detail on it at this point. So you go to the basis. Because we'll be covering quite a bit of this up later on. Whatever you do, again, you want to try and 
get some of the depth. Do you remember how we did last time when we put the, the white paint in the middle to create the sky and the distance between the sky and the water? Well this time we're going to do the exact same thing with the mountain. We come in and we just work backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. This might be a technique that you want to go back over and watch a couple of times. As I say, if, if you need any assistance or additional help, I am on hand. That's part of, obviously, our tuition package, is that I am here to help. And depth. And different tones as well. Okay. okay. Now that we've got a reflection done, we do the same thing. We just turn the canvas back over. And there we go. That simple. That simple. So now we start to look on how to lay out the reflections. We've laid out reflections. We've laid out the mountains. I want to show you how to put snow on the mountains. And this is an interesting technique. It's a relatively simple technique, but it does take practice. Okay. And as I said earlier, this is going to be one that you will need to go back over and look at again. Okay, so, like we did for creating the mountains, this time we're going to go into a little bit of white paint. Okay, now I'm going to take that map. I want to roll it out very, very flat, as you can see there. Okay, so white paint, very, very flat. And you want to cut across a little ridge. It's maybe about that much. Okay. And here comes an advanced technique. Okay, I think you're ready for it. But it's going to take practice. Very, very lightly. Hold the power knife. There's no pressure there at all. You just hold it by the side. You come up into the top and very, very gently, no pressure whatsoever, pull, 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 pull. All you're doing is guiding the palette knife and see how that helps snowfall very gently on the mountain. Okay, you go back in and reload the paint because the last thing that you want to do is pick up any of that black color, especially on the top of mountains. Okay, we come in and just on all these peaks, if you want to, very gently. I tell you what, you can even create an additional peak. So this has already got one started. And work your way around. And you can do this as many times as you like. Okay, we can come back over here. Create there. And all you can see, all I'm doing is literally taking the palette knife and pulling just down, just like that. Okay. the same up here. Now sometimes it will pick up some of that mountain colour. That's okay. Okay, providing it's not too dark, it will pick up some of the colour, but providing it's not too dark, it's okay. That by itself looks okay. Okay, we've got a basis for a mountain. Okay, we've folks, well, as always, we hope that you really enjoyed seeing how to paint uh, reflections and this art tutorial. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to head to outreachart.org for our latest news, hints, tips, and lessons as well. Until next time, I have been your host, John Morris, the painter of memories, and this has been Art Tips with John, the show that teaches you how to build a successful art business and also how to unleash your creative talent. Have an awesome week, guys. Take care.